right guys um welcome back so episode two we'll just give you a quick recap of where we got up to in the last episode so we actually made the uh, the basic frame up and then we started work on the uh, the pedal box mounts so we built the sides up so that we can fit the pedal box in we've gone on it's worked out pretty good we've got the seat mounted on the slider so it slides back and forth and now we've got the pedal box in there so let's get on today try and get some uh, some steering action going on and uh, try and button up this frame and get it get it on the uh, homeward stretch so yeah enough talking let's get to it right here's where we are um so these are going to be the legs for the steering just cut them out there figured out the angles that was a mission to say the least let's just say we had a a couple of goes like that before we got it right um so i've got this one done this one clamped in so leg will go up from the front it's quite nice sitting there like that with not shut and uh not just top tube out got the leg going up clamped in place i think it's about 22 inches high seems about the right height um should put it around about shoulder height which is quite nice it's a little long i left myself some room so i can trim this down as required we'll get the other one on that tack them in make sure it's all straight i am full of hay fever today so not feeling incredible but yeah it's coming along Welded in the uh, sides, got a nice equal angle. I think that's looking pretty, pretty damn sick actually. Um, so I've checked. You can you're going to have to slide the seat back to uh, to get in and out. But you know, I'm uh, I'm quite happy with that. It's got a look what I was after. Um, it's not. It's not what I designed. Let's get a control on the camera here. It's not what the original design was, but sometimes things turn out a little different. And yeah, I think that's looking pretty sick. We'll try and get the uh, steering wheel mount on. Got to make that adjustable for the height. And then uh, I need to go buy a screen. So we'll get a monitor and then we'll figure out how we're going to mount that. Um, on the back, but yeah for now It's all looking pretty straight and true 
yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's got some gaps. I've left gaps on purpose on these so I can get good penetration on that weld. Um, and there won't be quite so much grinding to do. Ah, it's looking pretty mint. Down the bottom there, didn't come out too bad. Um, considering I had to bodge cut that in because it was a last minute addition, but yeah, it's gapped up quite nice. Happy, happy. Okay, so a quick update. Been a, been a little busy at work, so I haven't had a chance to do any videos. So what I've done is made this for the steering column. Um, it's just a bracket, I had a bit of, of a heavy steel bar, it is way too heavy. But it was already cut and, uh, and folded. So I've, I've used that, cut that down. We have some smaller box section, like 25 mil box section. Um, so I've made the runners, and you see, I've made it, they're at an angle, they're not, uh, they're not flat. And the reason for that is because I want the wheel to sit flat. So we've got two holes. Come on, camera, focus. Two holes in the uh, in the back there, which will bolt the wheel on. So the wheel sits on there, and as you can see, it sits fairly fairly uh, flat, which I think is is better especially for this Logitech wheel. Logitech wheel is made for people to bolt to desks. Um, and it sits up an angle because most desks are, are lower, um, especially when you're sitting at your desk chair. So you end up sitting sort of very high, head up very high, and then your hands are actually down near your waist when the wheel's bolted to the desk. So the wheel actually, when it's bolted to the desk, comes in a much more upright, kind of like E30 style, um, which is good. I mean, that does its job. It's a starter wheel, it's quite cheap, but it's not particularly what I wanted for the seat position of this rig. So for me, preferred position is to have the wheel bolted on straight towards my body. So basically I'm just turning it left and right. And uh, I haven't got an angle, so you give me a bit better feedback. All we gotta do now is make the uh, the bracket for the TV monitor. I uh, went out and bought myself the cheapest monitor I could find. So, job for today, we will finish up the uh, steering. So what I'm gonna do with this, uh, rivet nuts in the top, so we can actually slide it backwards and forwards as well, get a bit of adjustability in there. Um, Steering position seems pretty good and we'll have basically three or four positions that we can put the steering backwards and forwards and it'll be just a case of quickly undoing a couple of uh, cap head bolts. Then we're going to get that pedal box um, rib nutted and bolted in. Get the TV mount made which would be a similar idea to this. Um, just couple of small bits of box section frame across two uprights and then we'll figure out a mount for the, uh, the TV uh, monitor and for those who haven't seen already my uh, my pillar drill is rubbish you can literally Stop the uh, stop the drill. Just using that like a 2.5 mil drill. Need to get that sorted at some point. Yes. Uh, it used to. Uh, it started off okay. I think the motor's knackered, but the whole thing's rubbish. So. Future upgrade.
the horse. As per normal, they're not very straight, but um, yeah, it's not race car engineering this one, so they'll do the job. So what I'm going to do is use a uh, rib nut. So this is a insert. You drill a big hole. This is basically an insert with a thread inside and rivet it in much like a normal rivet. They're going to sit in. I'll put a load of rivet nuts in all the way along. And then the frame can, uh, can move along. It can also be adjustable. Um, so it would just be adjustable with these two holes. So we can move it back and forth about half an inch, which is plenty. Um, so yeah, that's the plan there. But yeah, let's get these rivet nuts in. And then uh, we can move on to the next bit. That'll be that bolted down and we'll get the TV stand on. Okay, so bit of an update. Um, we got the steering bolted in. So that's all done. Looking pretty good, all nice and sturdy. I started on the uh, TV mount now, so just made this bracket up. Um, clamped in for now, it'll be the same as this. Put some rivet nuts at the back here bolts through the top and we can move it backwards and forwards if we need to uh, just tack that on and then up to an upright so I've just drilled a load of holes down there uh, 25 mil spacing and then so what I'm planning to do is so on the back of the TV we've got this square here to mount to so I'm going to make a plate up what I'm going to do is I've got some 25 mil box section. I'm going to uh, measure out how big enough and then actually cut it in half, lay the flat side of the box section down on the TV, and then have the uh, the two ends upright. And then we'll weld a bar across, two holes in the middle of that bar, and that will bolt to the bar that's on the uh, on the simulator. That's the plan. And then we can adjust the height, lift it up and down. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy on it because this is a temporary screen until we get all crazy with triple screens. So, a bit later on, here we go. Just uh, just finish this. So what it is, I've got, oops. So I've got some box section, 25mm, and basically um, cut it clean across both sides, try to get it even. And then uh, took a little while to rasp and file them down. So we've got two nice little bits of channel. I had a bit of plate laying around. It was just the right, just the right thickness. Um, so tack that across. Obviously bolted these onto the TV and then tack them across. And then uh, two holes, 25 mil apart. Welded some captive nuts in there. Um, and that's the TV mount. So. Hopefully, if I'm right, if I'm right, is it? There we go. Yeah, so bolts on there, two bolts on the back, TV will be screwed to the front. And then we can adjust the height up and down and uh, move the TV backwards and forwards as required. So right, put this down, let's go get it all bolted together. One problem I have got, or one problem I don't like about it, and this is, I think because you buy a cheap screen, you can see it's really flimsy. Um, the mount is not very good, and then here you can see it's, it's actually moving backwards and forwards. My mount's solid, but the screen mounting is not very strong. I think I'm pretty much just mounting on plastic. Um, 
which is pretty bloody rubbish to be fair. But there we go, it's only short term. Might have a think about that, see what I can do, because uh, I don't know if it's going to move around when you're playing the game, it'll be a bit of a bit of pants of screen shaking. So we might have to have a rethink about that, try and maybe find a short term solution. Stiffen that up a bit. I've got a feeling a little bar across the back. Even if I just bolted a, a bit of bar that touched the screen on either side, that'll just stop it moving quite so badly. Um, but yeah, other than that, happy as. Happy as. Alright, guys, so that's it. That's uh, episode two. All up and done. Um, hope you've uh, followed along today um, and managed to keep up. And uh, yeah, I think you're going to agree it's starting to turn out pretty cool. Um, so we'll end it there and then we'll get up to episode three. Hopefully, we can get the, uh, the steering finish off and um, yeah, just get this frame buttoned up and then maybe start getting some getting some paint on it and then get into that seat that's the uh, the bit I want to get into that's the bit I'm most excited about is trying to restore that seat um, so it looks pretty cool again but anyway if you like what we're doing please hit like and subscribe and uh, tap that notification button as well so you can stay up to date with what we've got on the channel and again guys I'm not a professional um, I'm literally just a hobby DIY it just, just keeps me sane it's my um, it's my getaway from my everyday work um, so if you've got any tips, if I'm doing stuff wrong, just let me know. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know if I'm doing stuff wrong. You know, if, if I'm pushing you on and um, giving you the inspiration to learn as well, then please let me know as well because that's, that's what I want you to do. So we'll just keep moving forward um, one step at a time. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.